Good morning, good morning, my dear students. Good How are you today? Fine. Okay. Today, uh, the teacher of natural science and me has prepared something very interesting for you. What can you imagine when you see these pictures? It's our environment. As you can see here in our region, we have a lot of trees, we have a lot of flowers, a lot of clouds. Sometimes we have sun. And what do you think about it? What do you imagine? How these pictures are related? Environment. Environment. Climate. Okay. You remember, your, uh, your, nat uh, your natural science teacher told me you were talking about a specific topic. Weather. Weather. We have here the rain, the water. The most important resource human beings have. Right? We can survive without water. We could survive just one day without water. Maybe if we are eating, if we don't have something to eat, we could survive one more, more than one day. But without water, we can't survive no more than one day. Okay, this class we will talk about the water and the cycle of the water in the nature. Have you ever seen this in your house? Yes. yes. What's that? Evaporation. Okay, very good, Anita. This is evaporation. What's evaporation? It's the water. Okay, very good. It's a very common in our house. Every day we prepare our food. Our mother prepare our food. So it's very common. Yes, when the water, when the water is boiling. Okay. Ah, Diego, you remember, I remember that you told me that you went the last weekend. <laughs> there. Yes, yeah, I'm in the corner. Yeah? <laughs> Is the same? Do you think that they are related? Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. We have vapor here. We have vapor here. It's the same principle of the water cycle. Uh, do you like coffee? Yes. 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 Do you like uh, a kind of water we, we used to prepare to ourselves? Okay. Do you think that are the same? They are related? Yes. Yeah? yeah, are related. Okay, so these are more common examples about water evaporation. Now, what's evaporation? that? Whale. No, 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 no. whale. We are, it's a whale. Yeah, what is the principle of evaporation? Who could explain it? Who could say it? What's evaporation? The water? The water heat? Go to the water The water? Raise, go up, and turn into vapor. Yeah? Okay? As you can see, the animals also help us to the evaporation. What's that? The most common animal in our region. We have hundreds of. And you can see, this is a kind of vapor. Yeah? The animals in the water, the animals in the land, also the human being. Are, we are uh, improving, we are developing, we are part of the water cycle. Yes? So the animals and the human being and the flowers, as we see in the first picture, are related. The evaporation, our body, even helps to the water cycle. Sometimes it works very good, sometimes it has a good very good. Okay? Hey, be careful about our hair. Now, in the class, we were able to, will you help me to read the first content objective? We will read. We, everybody. We identify the names by context. And we will learn the water cycle. Okay. These are our content objectives. And to begin, I am going to share with you, please, will you help me to pass out? And we are going to write the most common word. Do you know that Spanish in English has something similar words? They are called? Cognates. Okay. While we are reading the, while we are reading in the text, no, we are, we are going to hear an explanation, and you are going to write the words are very easy for us because they are cognates. 
Okay? We will try to identify. The water cycle describes the continuous movement of water on, above, and below the surface of the earth. Although the balance of water on the earth remains fairly constant over time, Just individual amazing. water molecules can come and go in and out of the atmosphere. The water moves from one reservoir to another, such as from a river to ocean, or from the ocean to the atmosphere, by the physical process of evaporation, condensation, precipitation, infiltration, and runoff, and subsurface flow. In so doing, the water goes through different phases, liquid, solid, ice, and gas vapor. The water cycle involves the exchange of energy, which leads to temperature changes. For instance, when water evaporates, it takes up energy from its surroundings and cools the environment. When it condenses, it releases energy and warms the environment. These heat exchanges influence climate. By transferring water from one reservoir to the other, the water cycle purifies water, replenishes the land with fresh water, and transports minerals to different parts of the globe. It, also involve, it is also involved in reshaping the geological features of the earth, though such processes erosion and sedimentation. Finally, the water cycle figures significantly in the maintenance of life and ecosystems. Okay. Could you, read, could you say the, any cognates you have listened? Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Very good. It's very okay. similar to our atmosphere. Evaporation. So is? Evaporation. Evaporation, right. Yes. 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 Energy. Condensation. Liquid. Oh, yes. Climate. Condensation. Okay. Precipitation. Precipitation. As you can see, the English is okay. not too hard. Liquid. Liquid. Perfect. Okay. Liquid. 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 Perfect. We have many. Energy. 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 Very good. Fresh. Sorry. Something else. Sorry. Sorry. Very good. Okay. <laughs> now, the word you have written, you are going to talk with your partner and talk and. In the second column, you are going to draw or write something that that word means for you. You have one minute to do that. Talk with your partner, and in the second column, in the sketch column, you can write whatever you think that word means for you. Hello, weather. Yeah, I have atmosphere. Okay, thank you very much. You have talked with your partner, when your friend. Now we are going to the next step when we are going to confirm or disconfirm the work that we did yesterday. We have our anticipation reaction guide you have in front of you, right? Mm -hmm. We are going to see if what we thought before the classes it were right or was wrong. The first one. Clouds are made of water. You write, what did you write before? What did you write yesterday? As, we have, as we have seen, the, the clouds are made of water. Yes or no? Yes. True. 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 Second one. The water vapor is lighter than the oxygen? True. Think about Think. The, vapor, the water vapor is lighter. If it is lighter, it, go, it can go up. Okay? Yeah. So it is it's true. It's true. The human being influences the water cycle. Do you remember? The good smell and the bad smell. Okay, you will never forget that. The human being influences a lot in the water cycle. Okay? Now, each one of you will receive. Okay, this group will receive five pictures and this group and you can share with the other group. You, you have five pictures. Okay? We have the sun. You can choose whatever you want. The sun. What do, what do we have? The wind. That is the wind. Very good. Another is the clouds. The rain. Is the gas, the vapor, <coughs> and the rain. Now, you have your picture and you have to figure out what is the role of the, the part you have. What's the role of the sun? The sun. What's the role of the clouds? Heat. The role of the sun is? Heat. Heat. Very good. 
The role of the water of the clouds, please. What's the role of the clouds? Receive what? The water? The vapor, very good. What's the role of the wind? Move the clouds, move the vapor, try to join all of the vapor. What the what is the role of something else? Of the vapor. What is the what is the role of the vapor? Go up and join and form clouds. Very good. What's the role of the rain? Fog. Very good. As you can see, it is a very interesting cycle. The natural wisdom has created this cycle. Finally, you are going to uh, make you are going to develop a role play and you are going to form all as sentences which could say, I am the sun. My role in this in the water cycle is, and you are going to complete. My I am the rain. My role, my mission is do that. Okay? You are going to prepare the role play to present here in front of the class. Okay? So the role play will be our affirmation. Okay, this is it. Thank you very much for your attention. Now, I would like to share with you Imagine that you are in a foreign country and you don't know how to say something. Not just because you are listening to the people, not just because you are going to a course, you are going to able, you are able to, to talk. You need more exposure to the language. So our students need time to process the information in their brain. But if they don't speak, it doesn't matter that they are not learning. It means that they are processing the language in their brains. So we don't have to hurry them to talk. Good. Second one I have chosen is from bigs to cops. The bigs, as we know, is the language that we use when we're talking with our friends. It's not based on a content. It's based on what we want. Sometimes we want to, to make a joke. Sometimes we want to talk about something very interesting. We have, a com we have something in common. So it's not so scientific, it's not so uh, cognitive and academic as CALPS. So our mission as teachers should be develop from the bigs that our students have when they talk with their friends to they achieve CALPS, which means that they must be able to talk in a content and in academic environment, places. The third one is the states of mind. As you can see, Sometimes we have seen those faces in our students. They are scared, they are bored, they are sad, they are confused. And those states of names are avoiding that our students learn in a better way. They, they feel, they bring those states from their environment, from their house. And we, as teachers, must try to understand them, help them, because these states of minds are states of mind are influencing them. The next one, please. The effective filter, you remember, it's not Pam. No, it's another <laughs> teacher. But I have a lot of those teachers in my life. Sometimes, uh, maybe, we have had any kind of those teachers. And the learning, when the teachers are that way, 
are blocking us. They, are, they don't leave let us there in a better way. So you must never do that. And the last one, the revoicing. We as teachers, we have to talk, we have to see our students if they are understanding and they are processing the information when they are talking in groups, if they are doing well or something must be correct. And finally, the last one, hey teachers, we are more than a test score. Score must be summative, it must be formative. We don't have just to say, he's a bad student or he's a good student. We've got to understand what are behind that person. Thank you very much.